Employee Free Choice Act, if I told you the pushback I have been getting about the Employee Free Choice Act, we'd be here all night. But it's the right thing to do because I believe in the power of collective bargaining. And what I tell those guys is, okay, fine. You've said your piece, I know you're against the Employee Free Choice Act, but don't you understand that where there are quality, hardworking union members in a business, that the business does better, that the employees are happier and more productive, the products are better, you're going to do better in the long run, and it's just time to recognize that a unionized shop generally means better for everybody. You'll find out soon enough. This election, this election is going to mean whether or not we can get it passed or not. Because even if we passed it out of the House, it died in the Senate where all good legislation goes to die. And then you got a president who doesn't care about working people. I'll just be frank. Whatever he says, look at what he does, don't care. And McCain and Bush, frankly, are about on the same wavelength about all that. Health care. We need a serious adult di dialogue in this country about reforming our health care system. No working family should be without health care. We need every American to have portable, affordable health care, and nobody should be able to take it away. We need to do it in order to be competitive in a global economy where everybody we're competing against provides health care for their people. We absolutely have to do it. Energy policy, we've got to have a new energy policy. It is the key, the absolute key to our competitiveness in the 21st century. It means real security, not having to go to war or depend on unfriendly nations to supply our energy. Number two, it's where the jobs in the 21st century are going to come from. It is what is going to unleash the entrepreneurial spirit of this country when we really get it right and set the right federal policy.